Hey guys, I'm here taking a look at Defy Gravity Extended. If you remember, uh, and actually a lot of you are probably new to the channel, so you won't remember, but uh, Defy Gravity was one of the first games I actually did a Let's Look at of back in January. So this is kind of a kind of a blast from the past for me, a little bit nostalgic. Oh, they grow up so fast. But anyway, this just came out on Steam. It's the extended edition of the game. I've been talking to the guys at Fish Factory Games. It's actually about twice as long as the original, which allays the concern that most people had that the game was just too short. Also, the original cost $5, and this one only cost $3. So this is one that's going to get a pretty hearty recommendation from me. So this is basically just a, a physics-based kind of platform, and I mentioned uh, the last time I played the game that it reminded me a lot of the 2D version of Portal that came out to coincide with that game's release. That has not changed in the least. Basically, we have a gun that shoots gravity wells, or we'll call them gravity areas. So I can shoot with left click an area of positive gravity that attracts me, or we'll use Q to destroy that, or I can use right click and shoot an anti-gravity well, which repels me, and that's a little dangerous right there. I also got a gravity shield that I can use with S that protects me from the effects of gravity, and I got this uh, jetpack here that I can use every now and then, intermittently, let's put it that way. So all we've got to do is avoid hazards and get to the end of stages. So basically we'll set up our gravity wells, we've got an anti here and a positive here, and we'll get across, and then we'll do that. This platform is going to die, then we'll come across here. Anti-gravity wells tend to be the most useful to get yourself across large chasms. And, oh, oh, that's not going to be good. So, this game, the original only had 14 levels, which was the biggest concern with it. Uh, is that it was selling for 5 bucks and it was quite short and it felt a lot like a Flash game. It still feels a lot like a Flash game, uh, that's, that's undeniable. But, uh, now that it's a little bit longer and the price has been reduced, I think this is a, a very easy game to recommend. Uh, the reason it's $3 is not, again, because it's bad, it's just because it's short. Which is fine. Uh, this is this is the kind of game that you can complete in a, a Sunday afternoon and you'll enjoy it as well. It'll be a great Sunday afternoon for you. Not that this is necessarily one of the best indie games of the year, but it is some of the most fun I've actually had this year. Uh, there's not a lot of pretense here except, hey, just get to the end of the stage. But still, I've been enjoying it profusely and considering I'm still giving these recommendations on my second playthrough of the game, I think that's that's pretty telling. The one, well, I shouldn't say the one, but one complaint I do have about the game is that it's its pretty easy. Hmm, how am I going to get out of this pickle here? Oh, I think I might be able to weasel my way over here. Excellent. Um, is that, yeah, it's a little bit too easy. I mean, part of that is that I've played the game through a couple times myself now, so I know pretty much what to expect. But there is definitely a kind of a pronounced lack of difficulty here. At least, uh, particularly through the early stages. And there aren't that many, quote-unquote, late stages. And of course, as I mentioned the ease of the game, I'm getting totally fucking filleted here. Let's see. Maybe I can get across using a couple of anti-wells. Anti-gravity wells, I should say. Huh? Oh! Ah, oh, I was so close. So there's multiple ways that you can solve all of these puzzles. Not just one, uh, one solution for each. That was probably not the best one for me to take there. <clears throat> Starting to think I might not need a second anti-gravity well here. Let's see. Oh, it, that was beautiful. I had it. You know what? I think I've got it now. I'll come in on this. Okay, clearly I do not have it. Let's try one more time like this. See if I can get the timing down to land on top of... Ah! Jesus Christ. Again, how, how much more perfect is this that I mentioned how easy the game is and then it, it gets me with one of these... I can't remember. The like I said, the initial game was 14 levels, and this one is 24. I can't tell if I'm in the new section yet or not, but uh, I'm gonna say that I am, just because of the difficulty that I had with that last puzzle there. Let's put a positive gravity well here. Come up. Oh well, I guess the game wanted me to do that anyway. No, get up there. All right, we'll stick an anti here. Use our gravity shield to get across. Once you master the basics of the game, everything else, it just kind of flows. Like, the, one of the strengths of the game is that it, it feels like it has a lot of momentum. You're never stuck too long on any one part of the game, which is nice. It's a nice change, let's put it that way, from uh, a lot of the games I've been playing recently. Like, again, no knocks against Dungeons of Dreadmore, but I've been playing that game a lot, and that shit is hard, man. 
I will likely never beat that game, as you could probably gather if you saw my let's look at and saw how bad I was at it. Hmm, let's come down here. How am I going to do this? Sometimes the game gives you hints like this. Oh, whoop, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Like where you should put your gravity wells and what type you should put, but it's rare. Uh, they don't do that very often. I think I'm going to get tagged again right here. Yeah, hmm, so clearly I can't just do that. Let's try firing the well from up here. Okay, and then we'll come down like this, and like this, and... Oh, it's not enough! <laughs> How am I going to do this? Let's fire another one over here, that should be enough. Excellent. So I finally completed that stage, that one only took me about five minutes. I don't want to show too much here for a couple of reasons. One of them is that the game is short, so if you decide on buying it, I don't want you to feel like it's been half ruined for you by me. Uh, but the other one is that um, I've already showed the game on this channel, so for anyone who actually has been around here since January, I don't want to be like, well, why are you watching this? I don't want to, I don't want to duplicate content too much, let's put it that way. Uh, the other notes I'd like to make, graphically the game looks fine, I mean, it, it doesn't look spectacular, it looks like an Xbox Live indie game essentially, which I don't, I don't really have a problem with, and I'm sure some people uh, are going to feel that maybe that's, that's not the best it could be, but uh, the music is really good, really interesting. Uh, let's, let's I'm kind of caught up in this puzzle here, there we go. This is a game that's easy for me to recommend for a number of reasons. One of them is oh, one of them is that it's really cheap. The other one is that it's it's satisfying, even if it is easy. It's a, it's an extremely satisfying game. Um, like I said, this is my second or third time playing through it now. Uh, the first time in the extended version, but the the second or the second or third time overall in in its many forms. And I've been having fun with it every single time. So. I think even with the benefit of hindsight, this is a game that I, would, I will continue to recommend to people, especially for three bucks. And, you know, at, at this price, this is probably not the price where you're going to wait for a Steam sale, because I'm not sure the game is ever going to get much, much cheaper than this, except for when it inev inevitably sells for a dollar, maybe, during the Christmas sale. You can save two bucks. Big whoop. Alright, let's get through here. Oh, this is dangerous. I, I don't think I should have done this, actually. Huh? Okay, made it. Hmm, let's push this out of the way. Excellent. Oh, oh shit! Ah, Alright, let's try that again. That should be much easier the second time through. Most of these puzzles are. As I just land on that star. I gotta get some steel toes in my space boots, man. There we go. Now, how am I gonna do this one? So I have one up here, one here. And there we go. Excellent. So I think I'll do one more room. And then I'm going to call it a day with respect to Defy Gravity. I'll show four or five rooms. That's fine with me. Oh. Oh. Sometimes the other kind of conceit that they have in the game is that sometimes you have to uh, guide your platform. So you see my gravity shield is always... No, 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 no. My gravity shield is always on here. So I have to guide platforms through the level. I think I might have to go back and get that other one. I don't know. Maybe I can just walk across these. That's fine. I can, I can handle that. Oh, that's not going to be good. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So maybe I'll just I'll stand on one of the yellow ones as fast as I can and then try to guide it. Excellent. Okay. Wasn't too bad. I probably don't need all four of these, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. I might have to guide those platforms through here, too. But they're off the screen now, so maybe not. Oh, I'll just take a green one. Okay. See this green one to go through. Green and oh shit! What happened there? Things went fucking haywire. Bring the green one over. Step on the green one. Oh, they turn red. Okay, so they dissolve. That's that's why I need so many. I got gotcha. you. Oh, and then the room is finished. So that's gonna be it for Defy Gravity. Um, in terms of extra modes of the game, this is pretty much it. You get new game and continue. But still. At this price, and for this quality of game, I'd recommend it. It's satisfying, fun to play, and really that's all you need when a game only costs you, you know, less than half the cost of your average lunch. So as always, thank you guys for watching. This has been Defy Gravity Extended, now out on Steam. Check it out if it looks like it's up your alley. Anyway, I will see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.